Hi, future mountain lions. My name is Miss Dunn, and I'm the social studies department head, and we are so excited for you to come. Um, we've got a lot of great teachers in our department that are super excited to show you um, thought-provoking information. Are you concerned about climate change? Or are you just curious about medieval universities and what they offered? Or, further still, are you super curious about the brain and how it functions? Or are you curious about ethical issues, such as the gap and what it means for child labor? If you are, my department members are going to tell you about the fantastic courses that we offer. Hello and welcome to Burnaby Mountain Secondary. I'm Mr. Budai and I'm a geography teacher. I teach two courses, Physical Geography 12 and AP Human Geography 12. The difference between them, very simple. Physical Geography is an environmental issues course. It teaches you about how our planet is formed and shaped and what impacts our weather, our biosphere, all the different ways that gradation erodes our landscape and tectonic forces build it up, why we have earthquakes, volcanoes, and tsunamis, etc. If you're interested in the natural world, it's a great course. It is also a science credit in some universities. AP Human Geography is for those of you looking for more of a challenge, and it involves understanding how humans live on the planet we call home. It involves a lot of understanding of different cultures and religions and languages, looks at how humans build their cities, how they create their economies, and how they farm their land. And it has a vast array of interest for everybody. There's something in it for all of you. I strongly encourage you to check it out. If you have any questions, you can always come visit me, and I'll be happy to show you more about each course. Thanks for your time. Hi, I'm Mr. Rolf. I teach Socials 11 Explorations. Explorations is the newest of the Social Studies courses, and it is quite different from all the others. Um, unlike the others, there's no set curriculum. It is a course designed around inquiry and designed around curiosity. Um, I organized the course around the question of how do we better understand the world in which we are currently living. Um, and we explore that question through different social studies disciplines. We explore it through the lens of history, we explore it through the lens of human geography, through social justice, through indigenous studies and media studies, as well as some political science thrown in. Some examples of previous questions that we've explored is whether social media and media in general support a healthy democracy and how do they shape our understanding of current events? How did the events of 9-11 shape the world into which these students were born? How is climate change shaping our world and how should we respond to it? And how are population trends shaping the world and how, how are they impacting our societies and the future for the students who are taking this course? Um, without any set, set content, um, it's full of choice, full of flexibility, and it's ideal for the curious and for the adventurous spirit. Thank you. In Social Justice 12, count on always being awake and aware of the latest issues happening around us. If you find yourself interested in learning about yourself and current issues, Social Justice will pique your curiosity as you explore issues of things like human rights, inequality, injustice, discrimination, oppression, gender, sexuality, racism, sexism, topics like consent, things to do with disability rights, animal rights, human trafficking, war, peace, wealth, greed, poverty, homelessness. These are just some of the types of topics that we explore in this class. Through guest speakers, field trips, and discussion, we explore sometimes controversial and current issues about your freedoms and rights as teenagers and as individuals. How can we make a change about issues that we are passionate about in this world? We'll take social justice and you'll find out. See you next year. Welcome to 20th Century World History. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this course. This course takes a look at the developments that have profoundly affected our civilization and our way of life. Some of the topics we examine include World War I, World War II, the Cold War, the rise of the dictators, the Middle East, the civil rights movement, the rise and fall of the USSR, Okay. And there's also other topics that we take a look at. This course provides students with a strong background of world events which can enhance their interest and understanding of other subjects such as psychology, political science, philosophy, and economics. Thank you for listening. Hello, I'm Mr. Jack coming to you live from the courthouse where we've just witnessed our legal system in action. What goes on in this building behind me? What are my rights as a Canadian citizen? How can I make sure that I'm treated fairly under the law? And what happens when I take my social studies teacher to court? 
Well, if you take Lost Cities next year, we'll all find out. Over the past few years, we've seen countless stories of police interactions that have led to nationwide discussion, protests, and dialogue. And Lost Cities will examine the issues that help us make sense of the world. Plus, you know what they say, when there's a will, there's a lawsuit. Do you enjoy uh, talking about different ideas, uh, reading about different ideas, exploring different themes and trends in history and thought? Then take Philosophy 12 with Mr. Kushlik. Uh, do you love history? Do you want to earn university credit in high school? Then take History 12 AP. Hi, my name is Miss Vangelista and I teach psychology at Burnaby Mountain. Uh, psychology is an exciting course with some amazing topics that introduces students to the study of human behavior. We offer Psychology 11, Psychology 12, and Advanced Placement. Uh, some of the big ideas we explore in these courses are what shapes personality, uh, why do we dream, why do we forget, and what are psychological disorders. We also learn about neuroscience and our amazing brain. Presentations from clinical psychologists also give students a deeper understanding of this field of study. Our AP class is designed to meet the curricular demands of a first year university college uh, uh, psychology course uh, where students have an opportunity to earn advanced placement credit. Uh, further information about our, all of our psychology classes uh, can be found on our de department webpage on our school website. So keep calm and study psychology. Thanks for visiting.